We have previously looked at the carbon chain that is contained in our fatty acids. Now we're going to look at the carboxylic acid group. And the reason they're called fatty acids is for that reason, because it contains the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acids are carbon attached to, double bonded to an oxygen, bonded to an OH group. So this carboxylic acid is what makes fatty acids. These are the same structure, just written in with either a ball and stick model or with our line angle model. And those functional groups are what allow the fatty acids to attach together into the fats. Remember that saturated fats contain all carbon-carbon single bonds. These tend to be solids at room temperature and um, come from animal sources, and we typically recall, call these fats. So these are things like butter or lard, but they are solids at room temperature because their melting points are higher. Unsaturated fats, they contain one or more carbon-carbon double bonds. And so these are more likely to be liquids at room temperature, and we refer to those as oils. And they typically come from plant sources. So these would be things like olive oil or peanut oil, but they are, can, are unsaturated fats. There's lots of ways that we can classify these molecules. So we can classify them as saturated, unsaturated, monosat, unsaturated, transunsaturated, synthetic, monounsaturated. I guess we have that one twice. Cis, unsaturated, or natural. So please try and classify the three formulas that are given to you at the bottom for our fatty acids using these words. Pause the video and attempt your classification. So for our first example, this is an unsaturated because it has a double bond. There is only one double bond in the carbon chain, so that's what makes it monounsaturated. So this would be a monounsaturated fatty acid. We look at the bond. We can see that the carbons are on the same side of the double bond, which makes this a cis monounsaturated fat. Because it is cis, these are naturally occurring. So cis monounsaturated fats occur in nature. Trans unsaturated fats are synthetic. Really, one of these um, classifications should say poly. So if you have more than one double bond, it could be a polyunsaturated fat. If we look at the next formula that is given to us, again, we have one double bond in our carbon chain. So this is a monounsaturated. So if we look at where the carbons are in the double bond. They are on opposite sides, so this is a trans monounsaturated fat. And because it's trans, this happens when we hydrogenate oils, so when we add hydrogen in to try and affect their properties, and this is a synthetic. So a synthetic fatty acid. If we look at our last example, there are no double bonds. So this is saturated. Saturated because we can't add any more hydrogen in. So it's a saturated fat. 
and so this one would most likely be a solid at room temperature. The trans fat would come next if we were looking at, at melting point, so this would be the highest. This would be our second. And the cis would be the lowest because it's harder for those molecules to pack together.